Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with episode 9 of our WRC Let's Play. Yes, we're back today here once again. Of course, did Rally Japan over the weekend, that huge clubs event uh, that Cody's and WRC had hosted. Safe to say, uh, the first bit didn't go particularly well. The, the second bit went even worse. Um, but, you know, we're going to try and put that behind us today and get back in to our Let's Play. Of course, if you are enjoying this series, please do make sure and leave a like. Get yourself subscribed as well to the channel. Obviously, we've now ticked over 1,100 subscribers. We're trying to make our way towards 2K, so it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you could help us get one step closer. But today, I believe we're heading back in to the front wheel drive extreme trophy here so some of the longest rallies we get on ea wrc and this time round we are heading to the pacific rally so this is going to be quite an interesting one in the ford fiesta mark 8 rally 4 feels like it's been a while since i've driven this car so let's head out then here to the pacific rally which i believe is based in indonesia right so gotta be careful then of the corners here feel like you say that at every rally in the world but yeah obviously the first couple of events have been mixed success first of course very first video we did wasn't it in this let's play in the bio bio rally chile mexico safe to say there was a lot left to be desired but looks like we've got four very short stages actually today with just one big one um at the end of day two so fingers crossed we can try and keep it clean and tidy get through the rally and of course try and make sure that we beat our big rivals there we'll roll on i'd imagine yeah we've got one set of mediums one set of hards so we'll use the hards ready for day two of course as always i'll just check that my wheel is all working starts 50 three right good luck but yeah, fingers crossed, of course, we can try and have a good Five, run today. Four, Feel like I'm getting three, there with this game. Two, one, but of course, also feel like I'm saying that a lot on this game. And well, still, some of the results are leaving a little bit left on the table. But yeah, maybe Rally Pacifico, of course, we can try and bring ourselves back towards the front of the field. I mean, we're still on the podium as of right now. That's what they mean about the sharp corners. So we're certainly not doing, like, terribly. Um, but, you know, we, we need to try and trade some blows with the top runners again. Prove to myself, of course, especially on the non-Tarmac rallies that we are in the fight. You know, especially now where we've got some proper um, sort of goals to go up against again. You know, now we should have driver comparisons between our top two in the championship here. Oh! That's not ideal for a shakedown. It was a fairly clean roll, but still not perfect. We'll, we'll definitely have to take some repairs. So we've got to be careful of that then, it would appear. Um, but yeah, hopefully, of course, you know, it definitely felt like we've hung on better when we kind of know what we're comparing and going up against in some of these rallies. Mexico was just a bit of a nightmare. Probably my worst rally I've done on the game throughout its entirety so far, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but, you know, hopefully we're, we're coming back stronger. We've got to be careful of some banks, though, clearly on this rally. Because they are going to trip you up and flip you over. So we'll try and get the car tipped round there. Finish. Well, there we go. That is the end of the shakedown then. So we've certainly learned a little bit of what to expect. But I've got a lot waiting in store for us. I don't believe you pick up damage once you've crossed the finish line in terms of, like, the AI control. So I think we should be good. 19 seconds. What if we pick up a 19-second penalty for? I don't know what that was all about. Uh, but, yeah, only damage the bodywork there so we can go and replace that uh, before we even get into the rally. Um, but yeah, let's get into stage number one then. A nine kilometer one, pretty much all medium gravel. A tiny bit of dirt as well. Here we are, this crew are ready and rearing for their first stage of the event. These two will be looking to set a fast but controlled time here to start the day off strongly. Well, Crichton seems to be the bane of my existence. But maybe, just maybe today, we can try and get the better of him. Feel like we're constantly start finishing second or third best. Right. But we want to be number one. That's got to be the goal, surely. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Fifty. Three right opens. Not from Titans. 
this car has only got 100 kilometers on it, and it, it's probably been the hardest 100 kilometers any car has ever had to deal with. I'm so sorry. Well, maybe apart from one of Colin McRae's old rally cars. I know I always give McRae stick, but fair play, he was, like, so entertaining to watch as a rally driver back in the day. I'm no, never going to argue against his absolute commitment. Right, so we know we've got to be careful early on. We know there's a lot of very, very dangerous banks. But I think, yeah, this is... I mean, all of them you should be listening to your co-driver. I feel like this one is going to be a lot more than recently. Is That, I think, was the bank that we nicked the car on. So we've done better than there that we did. Um, but, yeah, as so we've kind of said as well, you know, I don't know if it's just the relative moving around a little bit or something like that, but it does feel like... Uh, the AI are much quicker through the slow corners and you gain a lot down the straights. Whether that's just kind of like, not rubber banding, but it kind of looks like a rubber banding on the showcase. I don't quite know, but it's just a little bit weird. Whoa, we got to be careful there. I thought that was going to be somewhere where you could roll in practice, and I did exactly the same thing again. And luckily again, got the same result. Didn't roll it, in fact. As, well, there we go. That is the shakedown equivalent done. So now we head into the unknown. Stage lengths. Oh, it's quite a low speed rally, but six seconds up. Remember, we are still on the uh, 100 AI. I'm, I'm not going to be moving that around at all. I feel like we have got enough that we can, you know, fight with them when I don't make stupid mistakes, but it kind of is... We talk about stupid mistakes. Actually, we got away with that one. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'd rather have it slightly too difficult, as in I can't have much room to make errors, than have it slightly too easy, because I feel like, again, it's going to help me improve as a rally driver, but yeah, I'm going to be doing more club events as well, though, on this game, which should hopefully be quite good fun. So yeah, definitely, we'll be, you know, varying the content around a bit more, of course, you know, the Let's Play, I think, is still going to be the main thing, um, but of course, you know, I think this game, whether it's going to be a yearly release or not, I'm still not sure. I'd imagine it will be because obviously it's an official racing series. Um, but I'd like to obviously, you know, do a lot of different things with it. Have a bit of fun. And hopefully not throw it off the side of an Indonesian hill. I'm probably going to be saying Indonesia, and then someone will have commented in the first 30 seconds that it's not actually based in Indonesia, and then I got like a mug for the better part of an hour. Um, but we're still up early on. Oh, no one lines like that, we won't be. Oh, damn it. Get that car back round. Just a couple of seconds there. If anything, it scrubbed off speed, ready for the water splash. And again, it was a fairly low speed little spin, so not any major damage done. Ooh, there's the corner I'm looking for. Uh, that's how unseen it was. I can only see the sky. That was a big water splash, that one. Really scrubbed off any sense of speed I had. That was risky. Got away with it, though. I'm just sort of remembering. It feels like it's been a while since I've driven this car. So I'm kind of just remembering how we need to attack it, how we need to extract pace from it, all that kind of thing. It does handle a bit like the Junior WRC car as well. I think this thing is slightly quicker, I want to say. Where's that happen? There it is. Thought that would be a red marker pole rather than a yellow one, but there we are. Wait for the cameraman. Come on. That was him. There we go. I must admit, though, I had no idea what to expect coming here into Rally Indonesia. I'm liking it so far. It's still very early doors. I think that, again, goes to show just how... Oh, hello. There's a tree there. 
I generally fun this game is as well. Because it feels like you are pretty much heading to any location. And I'm having good fun with it. Sweden was a bit of a nightmare. Just because it felt like some of the graphics weren't well optimized. In terms of you couldn't see where you were going. In a lot of places. Which was really dumb. But, you know. That's by the by, I guess. Still got a tiny lead though, definitely losing a bit of time here and there, especially through the slower speed stuff. No, it's that way. See, it's tricksy there with that yellow pole saying the other direction. Got to be very, very careful as well that we don't pick up slowdown penalties. Easy does it. Easy does it. And four left of the crest. It's a crest. Fifty. Break. Five left. Opens. Forty. Crest. Sudden. Acute tap in left. It's a crest. Forty. Right, we're almost at the end then of stage number one. I'd love to leave here with sort of a nice five, ten second lead. Gives us a little bit of time to play with. Later on, I think the goal has just got to be try and build up small margins as best as possible. So we're still apparently taking some risk in some areas. Oh, oh there's that. Oh, that was... Is that beautiful? I might have committed to it too early. Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. That could have gone a whole lot worse than it did. Sometimes you hit those jumps and you've got no idea what to expect. I don't know what we're doing, though. Where we're based, we're just running through a farmer's field. Anyway, out the final corner, up towards the line. Felt like we've done pretty well there for stage number one of the day. Ten seconds then, so actually a bigger margin than I was expecting at the end of that one. Save some fuel and try not to kill a marshal. Good evening, sir. There we go. Uh, pretty ha happy with that one then. Hopefully that's going to represent... Oh, there we go. So Dong Hai and Doherty as well looking very, very quick. But yeah, two of our big rivals then... Uh, in Crichton and... Uh, oh, he's had a nightmare. Jones is down, way down after the first stage. Uh, I think they were both on hards, though, I believe. So, no, Crichton was on medium. So there's a big opportunity here to take some points out of them. Let's get into stage number two. Well, there we go, then. Jones Start quicker than Crichton this time. 60. Good luck. Nice to know it isn't just the Crichton show. Um, but, yeah, a little bit of bodywork damage on the car. That shouldn't be too much, though. So yeah, hopefully, of course, if we can get away with just a bit of bodywork damage in the first couple of stages, get to that first service all clean and tidy, that'd be I'd be very very happy with that. Slightly short of stage this time around, but looks like again we're pretty close on pace with the AI. Only winning that first one by a second and a half. So there's a lot of quick cars running after us by the looks of it. Again, I don't know if there's any stage evolution between runs, as in, obviously if the top two have got a worse stage than I have, say, and we've got a worse stage than they're from behind us, just if you move a lot of the dust and dirt and things like that. I don't believe so, but I could be completely wrong still at the end of the day. Are we going that way? That way? That's close. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on, gather it up. Wonderful. Eight seconds up after the first split. I'm very happy with though. That's pretty good. Let's try and Whoa, hold on to that lead. That was scary up on two wheels. If there had been a tree there, that would have been game over. So I'm liking this stage so far. 
good fun. I look at that bank and go, could I go round there on the wall? Would that work? Don't let the inner thoughts win. Oh, that was good. Really starting to allow the car to slide a bit more through the corners, working out what it's going to do, what the bite angles are like, things like that. And that, I think, just comes from more just game time generally. Oy. Oh, no! I'll go for a roll there, apparently. Ow. Right, we need some power, please, on the exit. Bit more bodywork damage. That's all right, though. That probably come down a bit to the current fastest runner. Uh, no, still 10 seconds. Oh, no, no, no. Ow, 22 seconds. It would have taken me five seconds to recover that. Right, okay, now we've got work to do. Now we've got to cook. I can't believe we lost 22 seconds from that. Didn't pick up any damage though, which is good. Yeah, they like their sharp corners at the end of roads, don't they, here? Very quickly learning that. Huh. Always scary when you just hear jump. Gather back up the time pretty nicely. I wonder if our top two have picked up a little bit of damage in the first couple of stages. Maybe not showcasing their full potential. Or just giving me... Oh, where are we going? That way. Or just giving me a bit of a fighting chance. Yeah, to be only four seconds back is pretty good, actually, all things considered. Ugh. Oh, come on, stop nicking just the edges. Don't let things already start getting ragged. We're only on stage two of five. Oh, I was going that way. It's not good. Huh? They really do like their horrible corners. Is it there? Is it here? Yeah, it is here. I didn't look like a one to me. That was the problem there. But anyway, into the final split. That was a bit early on the brakes, but I'd rather be a bit too early than a bit too late. We're still pretty much going to be there on time unless I do something stupid. Look at that beautiful line. Up towards the finish line. It's going to be mighty close in the end. Probably about a second in it. Go, 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 go. Oh, six tenths of a second. We will go quicker than our rivals despite... Oh, I'm going the wrong way after the finish. Despite the penalty, we still were able to recover then. So that gives me a little bit of fighting hope still in towards the second day. 6.03 there, yeah, that would have been a 5.41. Despite their best efforts through this stage, this crew have dropped in the event standings. Well, yeah, there we go. That would have been a really, really quick stage had we not had that penalty, even with the mistake. And we're still only 11 seconds out at the moment, half a tenth the way behind Baines there. Uh, I think we've got a service, though, before we head out into stage three. We are definitely in, mate. Let's have a look then. How bad is the damage? We've only got 15 minutes. Um, but we should be able to get everything done that we need to. So we will try and see. Oh, no, there we go. So that's pretty much perfect then. 13 minutes 20 used of our time. Uh, we'll also make sure that I bolt on those hard tyres ready for the second day. But, yeah, okay. so far, happy. Too much damage on the car right now. If you want to make... Oh, apparently I always shut him up when we're doing that. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep the one spare as well as we head into day number two. This crew is
is having a fantastic run so far. With a service coming up, it looks like they will have plenty of time to complete all their repairs. That's a shame. Didn't realize there was another service before stage four. Good luck. Keep it tidy, man. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Eighty. Let's try and get that gap back down to our front runners. I want to know why there is this, why this track goes the way it goes around these fields. Like, what's the reasoning behind it? Like, is there any need for that? What's wrong with just a straight line? Let's get that slowed down. 20. Six left, 90. Slight right to the crest, slowing 50. Four left. Four right, cut 60. Uh, 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 steady, hold on, hold on to it. There we go. To crest, and three right, half long opens, 60. Four left, 70. Four left short, 40. Five left, half long, 40. Oh, no, wrong way with the gears. Right, ah! Two right That's short, fine. 50. Six right to the crest, bomb. Yeah, we want to try and get that gap back down to our front runners. You know, I don't think we'll get back to the lead at the end of this one, but if we can get it back to sort of five seconds or so, some catastrophic understeer like that, we're going to struggle. A lot of wide open sand, just kind of all medium dirt or gravel or whatever it's called around here. Yeah, with the roads like this, there'd be more Indonesian Rally World Champions, but still a little way away. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, that was scary. That could have gone really badly. I thought I saw like a tree stump or something, but I think we might have gone over whatever it was I thought I was about to hit. Go on up the hill. Almost thought I'd blip in the clutch then, but I don't think it's worth it. Because again, one of those ones where I'm trying to look over the bonnet. Ragged. Oh no, tree. Okay, not a tree. Phantom tree. I am not going to complain about that one because I thought it was going to be a lot of damage on the front, but clearly. We were driving so quick that we managed to line up all, all the atoms perfectly and not hit that. Or the far more likely thing is it's not textured, or it's only a texture rather than a collision. Either way, I'm not moaning. Which way are we going that way? going to be bad. That corner just screamed lethal to me on the pace notes. Where are we going? That way. That was just lift off and pray. This stage is a little bit odd, but I'm liking it. Cut, open, and fall after the rest. 
That was cheeky and not worth it. See, we've got that long stage coming up as well, so we've got to make sure we're ready for that. Because that might be make or break for us, this rally. Well, that is not the line through that, but that's the line we took. to go now. This has been a pretty clean run. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful through there. We are really starting to learn what we can attack with. He says now it's going to go badly. Come on, up towards the line. Up towards the line. Beautiful. Nice, clean and tidy at the end there. Made back up a fair old chunk of time. 10 seconds up. Hopefully, it's going to mean we're back with the leaders as well overall. Um, don't quite know what sort of times they've ran. Oh, that's a shame there. We still didn't go quick to everyone. Q Bao um, looking very, very racy. Are they leading? I don't believe they are. It was Dong Hai, isn't it? Yes! Well, back to the front then. So, really good run through that stage there. We've got two and a half seconds to play with as we head into the final couple of stages. I think we've got another service, but now it's time for the big stage. 14 and a half kilometers. This is going to be make or break. Well, yep, we did get the car fully repaired. Ready for the final couple of stages. We bolted it back on a fresh set of the gravel mediums, so hopefully we'll have some good grip. 14.6 kilometers here. Not a lot of time to play with either. We've got to keep it clean and tidy in this ninth stage. Keep focusing up. Maybe. I don't, can't remember the last rally I won on this game. I don't think we've won one since the very, very early doors of this game. We've been in this position many, many times, though. Where we have been in the fight for the win until late on in the event. And then every single time it's gone badly wrong. Let's not make today another one of those occasions. I don't know if this stage is based on one or part of one that we've done before. So we've got to keep our eyes and our ears very alert. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to go. It's worked for us, though. recognise this bit though. Two seconds up immediately. Very happy with that. Oh. No, 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 no. Where am I going there? How far off the stage did I end up? Gather it up. We've got time in the pocket. And it's a very, very small mistake with no damage to pay for it. So we can't be too annoyed about that. People there, though. Oh, 
chucking it around like a Dakar rally car at the moment. Left, 50. Don't let the back end rotate round. You've got to control this thing, obviously, entirely through the front. in the groove at the moment. I'm sure by saying that I've jinxed myself, but I'm also very conscious, of course, I felt like I've been in the groove before. And then it's gone badly for us. We've almost hit those tyres then. go into the final stage knowing I've pulled out from that two and a half seconds we had at the moment I will be very happy it's a really short final stage here like five kilometers something like that so there isn't much time for the whoa AI to gain time but there is of course on the contrary to that plenty of time for me to lose it sound. I don't know if that was a door or a tyre or that was not a good sound. It might have been one of the pillars or the roll cage just hitting the tree but as long as it wasn't the ringing going through my skull I guess we can't be too upset. Oh, that corner might be coming up sooner. Go, 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 go. so much towards the end of this stage. I really don't want to do anything stupid. I really want to get into that final stage and not have to take big risks. Not feel like I've got to try and catch anything. No. Do we really need to break for that? This we do. I feel like I'm slowly getting the knack of just obviously letting the rear slide into a corner. Break, crest, 80. Turn left. It's 
22 seconds up though at the moment. Of course, we don't know how competitive these two are at this stage. They've really had a poor rally between them. So then there are top two in the championship, so we need to continue building up time over them. Oh, it's there. I thought we'd be down at the bales. That's all right, though. That's all right. I only lost a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. That could have been really bad. Fully up on two wheels there. That was scary. But again, another occasion where we live to tell the tale. It's a bridge. And four left. Keep in. It's a six right. Cut to slight left. One forty. Slowing. Crest. Sudden. One right. Long. Forty. Crest. Forty. Twenty seven seconds up. We love it at the moment. Three left. Half long. Tightened. Ninety. Crest. And dip. Come on, one more split to go. Let's just bring this thing home. Get to the final stage with a few seconds in the back pocket. Just dab the handbrake there. Make sure we get the car stopped. Stopped and rotated all at once. Rally driver. Right, there we go. There's the gantry. We haven't got long to go. Get a penalty now. But I'm really hoping we've built up another just few second cushion over our rivals. Oh, we got the Chicanes back. Oi! Oi! <laughs> that was a bit more attacking than the last time we went through there. But that might have been the final corner. Up towards the line, there it is. 10.07, I believe. Yeah, 10.07.2 there. 30 seconds up against the maxed out AI, but these have not been our biggest competitors. We'll go around that. We'll, we'll, we'll park somewhere over here. Have we gone around the marshals? I don't know what we've... We've, we've lost... The, oh, we went around the marshals. Okay. So, yeah, 10.07.3 then. Very, very happy with that. One more stage to go with this rally. Have we built up a margin? Yes, we did 13 seconds clear of anyone on that stage alone. That means as we head into the final stage of the rally, we've got 30 seconds to play with. Right, we don't need any risk here. Let's just get to the end in one piece. This might be my first ever rally victory against maxed out AI. Right, just keep it tidy. Come on, 30 seconds over 5 kilometers. Surely we can't lose that. Famous last words, I know. I want to get a dub. I want to get a dub here. I was a bit nervous heading into this one. Didn't really know what to expect, but yeah, Rally Indonesia, or Pacifico even, sorry. That's been very, very fun. I've enjoyed this, but we just don't need to take risks late on. Oi. Easy that. Don't hit the poles, pick up penalties. Ah! Oh, that's almost where I rolled it earlier on, wasn't it? I said I was taking it easy, and within 30 seconds I've almost rolled the car. That feels like how we've done most of this rally, to be completely honest. Oh, we're doing the same bit we just did. Oh, we're, we're leader as well. Obviously, we haven't even got a comparison. So if things did go wrong here, we would have no idea. So chicane, I thought, was a little bit later than it was, I believe. No, not chicane. Sorry, the 90 degree. I'm just loving all the variety on this game, though. I must admit, I am so much fun with it. Oh, no, this was the corner. Oh, no, I've overshot it by even more. I just don't want to pick up a penalty. I'm going to reverse back. That's fine. 
Well, I can't believe we lost the final two minutes or so of that rally, but we did take the dub by a we, we came like second in that final stage by like eight tenths of a second there. Um, so you can see we are now back into P1 of the championship. Still second in the team's championship. I don't quite get how that works there. But yeah, really happy um, with how things are going. That's going to give us a lot of hope as we head into the rest of this first season. Having a look at our calendar, I think next up is going to be i don't know what it's going to be it might be a little while away might be yeah, maybe maybe we'll take on a different event maybe we'll do something a little bit different um or i think yeah we will i think it might be the historic rear wheel drive tour from sardinia then so heading back out to sardinia maybe we can try and get some redemption but thank you all so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed please do make sure to leave a like get yourself subscribed and we'll be back very very soon with more EA Sports WRC. A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips, either click the join button next to the subscribe or head over to my Patreon. There's a link down in the description.